Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here, the Computer Certification Bulldog, and in today's CCNA conversation, really what we're going to talk about today goes for any certification exam that you're ever going to take, from Network Plus to the CCI Lab, everything in between, I don't care what it is, because of course we've got to study and we've got to know things to pass these exams, I would never say otherwise of course, but there are other things we can do that don't have anything to do with studying that can really maximize our chances of winning on exam day. I want to talk to you about a few of these here today, especially one in particular near the end of the video that uh, very few people take advantage of, but I want to make sure that you do so on exam day. Now a couple things to do before your exam. First, find the testing center, and I, even if you've been there before, and I, I am not kidding because the last thing you want is to be driving around and it's rush hour traffic perhaps in the morning or the evening whenever you prefer to take exams and you can't find the testing center and you think you know where it is or even your GPS is telling you then you get there and it's not there because a true story had a buddy once who showed up for an exam and was going to a testing center he and I had both been to for years we hadn't been there for a little while and when he got there that morning they had moved and it was across town and he barely got there and the last thing you want is to walk into that waiting room in the morning especially in the morning when there are a lot of people in there all frazzled you know hey I just barely got here that kind of thing so also take that rush hour traffic into account because of course that depends on your city and what time you take the exams I'm personally a morning person I like to take mine you know, as early as humanly possible and of course the traffic tends to be a little heavier then so take that into account and also please get some rest the night before the exam and I'm begging here I I know what the you know what the temptation is well I'm gonna study till 2 in the morning etc listen you're not gonna suddenly learn something at 10 o'clock the night before any test so please get some rest because this is probably the number one mistake that I see especially first timers make on certification exams because like I said I like to take my exams in the morning and when I go in there I can guarantee you that half of that room is going to be just totally bleary eyed. You know, or they're slumping down in their chairs and I'm thinking, well, you've really just wasted your money because you're going to sleepwalk through this exam. Now, let's talk about some things you need to know about your exam, your actual exam day, especially if you're a first timer on Cisco exams. For one thing, make sure to bring some picture ID. I mean, I'm stunned that people think they're just going to walk in, sign their name, and start taking the exam. Believe me, it is not like that anymore. I'm not sure it ever was. But you're going to need some picture ID. Now, one thing you have to get used to, especially if you're working on the NA and you're working on your hex conversions or your binary or your subnetting, is you do a lot of writing. You cannot bring anything to write with to the exam room. And even if you, you know, took a pen in there, they're not going to give you paper to write on what they're going to give you is a dry erase board and a marker and I'm not the biggest fan of that I admit but I also have heard you know just one horror story after another about the way people try to cheat on these exams so unfortunately this is a price that we all have to pay but I want to give you some time saving and maybe exam saving tips right now that have a little something to do with that when they give you the dry erase board and the marker I want you to take the top off that marker right there, before, right in front of the proctor, before you go in the exam room, and just scribble on the dry erase board or write some numbers. Because if somebody happened to leave the tip off that dry erase marker, uh, you know, and it's just been covered for another hour or two, it's going to be dry. You want to find out that kind of thing before you take the exam. It's only happened to me once over the years, but once was enough. So test that marker right there as it's handed to you. Now I've got another video on YouTube called You're in the Tunnel, and I mentioned there that you need to have that same winning mindset before you tackle the exam just as, say, an NFL team has as it goes through the tunnel and takes that field. Now, do not dance like Ray Lewis or your favorite player, uh, you know, and you can't have any pyro, but you do need that winning mindset. And it's also important to have a little warm-up. This is what I really want to drive home with you today, because a team does not run out that tunnel and just run on the field and immediately start playing. You know, there's a warm-up, there's an acclimation period. Uh, especially for kickers, having done a little bit, certainly not on the NFL level. But as a kicker, you know, you're testing the wind, you know, how long do I think I can hit a kick today, that kind of thing. Well, there's a warm-up waiting for you on the exam. 
and it's one that a lot of people skip and it's the tutorial. Now I know that you know how to answer you know a drop and drag question, a radio button question, a multiple choice question, I know that. But I really like taking that tutorial because they're going to walk you through uh, one of each kind of question and the time that you spend on this is not going out of your exam time. Now they do time it, you can't spend 90 minutes in the tutorial but your exam clock is not winding down. What I've also found over the years is this is an excellent opportunity to check out the mouse and the keyboard before your exam actually starts. Because you know the standards are high at the testing centers, the hardware is usually in pretty good shape, but we all know stuff happens. You know, you get a bad mouse that doesn't click, you know, all of a sudden your keyboard's sticking, that kind of thing. That's the kind of thing you want to find out before your exam clock starts running. So the, this is so important, and I really want you to do this on exam day. I want you to check your marker, your mouse, and your keyboard before your exam starts. Because once that clock is running, they're not going to stop and say, oh, wait a second, you know, let's check out this marker, that kind of thing. And then you got to go find the proctor anyway. So you don't want to mess with that. Check your marker, your mouse, and your keyboard, all the hardware you need to pass before your exam starts. Thanks for joining me for today's CCNA conversation. Look forward to seeing you out on Twitter, YouTube, my blog, and Facebook as well. And if you've got a suggestion for a topic for a future CCNA conversation or on any certification exam, really, uh, please feel free to find me on Twitter or Facebook. That's the best way to get a hold of me. Just send me a message there, and I'll be glad to talk to you. Thanks for joining today's conversation. I'm Chris Bryant, the Computer Certification Bulldog.